Hi, so I have some good news for you guys. My two fake personas that I created during quarantine because I was bored have finally gotten free will. Not sure if I should be happy for them or scared. So they opened up their very own P.O. box where you can send them fan mail and nice gifts if you want. And if you want to send their manager a little some something, aka me, I wouldn't really mind that. Technically, since I gave birth to them, is that the right word? Uh, I'm pretty much like their dad manager. Or am I more of like a momager? Oh god, when did I turn to Kris Jenner? I'm literally creating an empire out of my children, which I'm hoping that they don't get into trouble and have some sort of film or tape leaked into the public because that would be pretty bad for PR. But then again, people do say that bad press is also good press. But then again, one of these people that I'm talking about is actually a minor, so let's pretend we never talked about this. Ew, oh my god. So in the last Ellie video, she was just doing some girly things, like annoying her famous brother who is in the hospital, who finally had his first round of facial reconstruction surgery. Honestly, he's looking pretty handsome. You know, especially for falling on top of his face. But Ellie was swinging and modeling her little YSL bag, when all of a sudden, a beauty company reached out and asked if she would like some free products. And as a fresh 16-year-old beauty guru, of course the answer was, duh. And look at what we have here, look what arrived, literally months later. Hello Ellie, we are honored to be able to work with you. These products are curated specially for the beauty and love of all ages, ethnicities, and sexualities, and we are proud to have you on board of our journey. Like BTS, we really want to advocate quality and self-love, so we hope these products make you feel loved today. Aw, that's so sweet. Lots of love, love holic beauty. This is a nice generous little pack. We got like a little sticker here. I'm pretty sure this is a picture of the owner. And people were mentioning in the last video that the brand owner is actually a BTS fanfiction writer, which, oh, I would have never guessed, especially with this Jin photo card that was also sent to me. I mean, if it was Jungkook, it would have been a little bit better, but that's okay. Actually, wait, what am I saying? This wasn't sent to me. This was sent to Ellie. Ellie's bias is Jin, not Jungkook. I'm sure she would, she's gonna love this. After you guys mentioned that she wrote fanfiction, I didn't get a chance to read her story yet. Yet, but maybe I will on my Twitch channel once I- oh wait, actually, maybe maybe I shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> oh, did I did I say Advasion Twitch channel? Cuz, no I didn't. So when I asked for these products as Ellie, a, a couple days later I got an email from the brand owner herself, and I was thinking, uh oh, jail here we come. But they were actually very nice. In summary, they said that they stand Ellie and they're actually part of the LGBTs. Or is it Ellians? I actually, I actually don't know yet. And since Ellie made a promise, she is definitely gonna keep it of course. It is finally time for her to have her influence a moment and do a little photo shoot. Why do I wanna eat this so bad? When Ellie was picking out products that she wanted to try, she picked things that would actually show up on her face. For example, if she wore an eyeshadow, it would probably get blended into her eyeballs once I put a filter on my face. So I think lip products and a scrunchie are probably my best options. So here's some nice clothes that I think a 16 year old girl would wear. Gives off the vibe of being depressed all the time, but still want to have a good time. I really feel that. If brain meant to keep me alive, then why sad all the time? Okay, Ellie's ready for a photo shoot. I have my Ellie cam set up over here. Hi, I'm- oh wait. Hi, I- <laughs> Ellie looks kind of messed up today, not gonna lie. Hey you! Ellie's favorite brand is YSL, so I made sure to grab one of these. YSL- oh god, this isn't YSL. Oh. Hmm, okay, this is a little off-brand for Ellie, but maybe she just likes to do a little bit of charity work once in a while. Also, my nails are kind of crusty from the last time, but that's okay. Nothing a little Photoshop can fix. Okay, let's have Ellie pop on this product first. Ooh, that's nice. Classic nude. Hey, so this color is classic nude. Can you see that? <coughs> uh, don't mind my hair, it's just a little bit glitchy. Oh god, this voice is so freaking bad. Alright guys, I'm just gonna pop on this lipstick. Oh. Okay, it looks like that. What do you think, Ellians? Ooh, that- <laughs> That's actually a really nice color. Ellie would definitely wear this. I like it. Is what Ellie would say. Oh my god, how is Ellie supposed to hold all this <laughs> Another thing that I've seen a lot of beauty gurus do is put a gloss on top of a lip. Wow, look at me actually retaining information from things I watch online that I probably have no business watching. Like how is watching countless hours of beauty gurus fighting gonna benefit me in any way? It probably won't, but it sure is entertaining. Oh wait, you can actually remove this? I'm, I'm literally learning so much today, wow. 
You guys ever see that video of that Asian lady doing a hundred different poses in like one minute? I kind of felt like that, except a way worse version of it. Okay, perfect. I think I got it. Man, I don't know if I can keep up that voice. Should I just make Ellie have a deep voice? Because who's not to say that girls can't have deep voices? Hey, I'm Ellie. My brother is annoying. Get out of here! That could be believable, maybe. Okay, next I have this scrunchie that I'm supposed to pose with. The thing with that gender swapping filter, I don't think it can register if this is on my hair. Like, I feel like once I put the filter on my face, th this is just gonna blend into my hair. And Ellie already has a birth defect where the top of her head is always missing. And I don't think I want to give her another one where a scrunchie is sprouting from her head. So I think I'll just wear this on my wrist as a accessory. And she can do like a few poses like this. Is this natural? <laughs> Cool, I think I got it. Don't worry, it might look like really janky right now, but once I put everything through a filter and Photoshop, everything will be fine. Ellie will be born as a presentable young girl. So Ellie made her sponsored post last night, and it is the next day now, and I thought we would um, take a look at the aftermath of what happened. I saw a few of the comments already, and they're so funny. Okay, let's take a look. When I was editing these pictures last night, the same thing would always happen where the top of her head would get cut off. And sometimes the app would be weird and make an entirely new face. But like, who the hell is this? This ain't Ellie, this is Elliot. But as far as the app goes, it actually does a really good job, almost like too good of a job, at making Ellie look like a real person. The only thing that gives it away is the slight deformities in every single picture. Like, oh, her fingers are slowly disintegrating, or the scrunchie is literally going through her arm. But out of all the pictures, these were the best ones that I could manage. Hi, Ellians! Say thank you to Love Holic Beauty. Ugh. I'm wearing the classic nude lip gloss and watermelon juicy pop. Use my discount code L10 for 10% off. LGBTs forever! LGBTs forever! So here we have her cute little Louis Vuitton bag and her um, melted love holic lip gloss. I made sure to tag Louis Vuitton in this because, um, hey, who knows? Another brand deal. And you guys did uh, not hold back in the comments. Oh my god, L, are you wearing contacts? Your eyes seem a little different. And I actually didn't notice how um, messed up her eyes were until I saw some of your comments. <laughs> like, look at this picture. I, <laughs> I didn't see this until I posted it. The cameraman is asking her, hey, look over here. And one eye's like, present. While her other eye is, the kid that sits in the back of the classroom, eating glue. Where is she looking? Why is she keeping an eye out for Selena? It's okay, Ellie. You're safe. You don't have to be a chameleon. But overall, I feel like this was a pretty successful post. Even the brand commented and said, LGBTs forever. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. The aliens are actually very supportive. Get that coin, queen. Get that bag, girly. And as supportive as they are, um, they also roast Ellie quite ruthlessly. Companies are sponsoring non-existent AI freaks? Oh, how the world has changed. Hey, that's kind of rude. She, she might be AI, but she's not a freak. Um, the lip gloss bottle shape is kind of weird. Okay, yeah, and haven't you had that problem where your lip glosses just start disintegrating when you're taking a photo? Oh my god, Al, did you cut your hair while having a mental breakdown? That's so cool. I know this YouTuber that constantly changes his hair. <laughs> Ian's manager. Anyways, it looks gorgeous on you. Thanks! Don't snitch, okay? I love your nose job. I can see a bit of blood pouring out, but it's all good. Eleven things. Aw, your head is getting bigger by the day. Yeah, there are a lot of comments commenting on um, the size of her head compared to the rest of her body, but hey, it just means she has a big brain, okay? She's a fake beauty influencer that's getting brand deals. If that doesn't scream like eleven head, then I don't know what does. Alright, the next picture is, um... <laughs> this picture, it does look quite real at first glance. You think, ooh, who's this cute little Asian girl with her um, athleisure clothes, modeling her little lipstick with a scrunchie on her wrist. But then the more you look at it, the more you see <laughs> things that are not quite right. Uh, how your hair go in your eye like that? Oh my god, Elle, is that hair growing out of your eyeballs? Honey, is your neck okay? <laughs> She must have a big brain. See, this person gets it. What it's like to be so smart that it literally shows on your head. Can you please do a live? Okay, I'm actually working on that. Once Ellie has a VTuber model, then she can go live for you guys. Although, the biggest problem will probably be the voice. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> And I totally forgot to fix Ellie's nail polish in the pictures, but I feel like that just makes her more relatable. Like, ooh, low maintenance queen. She doesn't care as long as she gets that bag. Her body is also quite, um, 
<laughs> Do you gotta see what I mean? It's very, um, her shoulders are quite broad and it's very like a triangle shape. Like who's her body inspiration? Makasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan season four? But I mean, in the end, she did a pretty good job with all these photos. Like look at this one with her cute little popsicle thing. Shows off her girly side as well as her professional side. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up at this point. But you know what? Love Beauty Holly liked it, so that's really all that matters. Ian finally fixed his face. Time to go annoy him. Send Ian our regards. And I'm actually really surprised that um they reposted this onto their actual Instagram account with the discount code and everything, and also the <laughs> semi-melted lip gloss. And Elians were actually commenting on this post. Who is this girl? She's so pretty. She should audition for Big Hit or something. Someone was like, do... do they know? And all I have to say to that is, don't be a snitch. Wow, a true influencer now. My favorite trainee. Be more like Michaela. See how she's just minding her own business? And that wraps up a successful campaign. Now that she's had a taste of influencer life, she probably wants to do another sponsored post, right? Maybe she should try reaching out to some other brands and see what they say. And before you say that this is illegal or anything, if this is actually a crime, then y'all are complicit too. So, um... Did, did y'all hear anyone say that this is a crime? Didn't think so. I've been doing a little bit of market research. And by market research, I mean whatever the hell I've been doing in this video. And there's actually this website called Influencer, where if you have a social media following, they'll actually send you free stuff that you can review. And what a coincidence, Ellie also has a social media following. And from reading all the terms, it doesn't say that whether or not a fake person can join this website. So let me just sign Ellie up. She was excited to try out some uh, baby eczema lotion. I hope they don't send her that. Um, she might look like a baby, but she is a 16 year old lady. Um, how do I apply? Do I write a letter or something? My name is Ellie and I am 16 years old. My dream is, oh wait, sorry. I keep forgetting. My dream is to become a famous beauty guru. I would love to try out some products. My fans are called Ellians and they are part of the LGBTs. One of the strongest fandoms out there. Hmm, wait. I think I can actually just join and I don't have to write anything. I don't think there's like an application process. I think they just accept everyone and if they think you're worthy enough, then they'll send you products. Ooh, okay, perfect. Sponsor number two, here we come. Or they might realize that Ellie is not all that she seems. But that will only happen if someone snitches, so shh. And just like that, Ellie has had a successful day as an influencer. What will she be sponsored by next? Morphe? Skinny diet teas? Tesla? The possibilities are endless. Well, as endless as once brands find out that she's fake, they might blacklist her. She's actually doing a pretty good job. She might even be doing a better job than some other influencers. And she's fake. If you enjoyed the series, let me know by giving this video a like and leave a comment for that nice engagement. The algorithm loves that. It literally eats it for breakfast every day. I'm kind of excited. Ellie's about to be the next Kylie Jenner. Except maybe without the baby, because I don't think Ellie can give birth on the fact that she's a fake beauty guru. Okay, wait. But if I made a baby using my own face with like a baby filter, <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's the cliffhanger for this video. Will a baby be born into the Lee family? Stay tuned to find out.